one of the dozen or so people uh, that checked out my Little Mario World playthrough on YouTube uh, was none other than the creator, Octavius Pepper, who had excellent things to say. Um, I really appreciate him sort of popping in and, and saying hi. But most importantly, giving us a recommendation. Just to dive back to Little Mario World for a second, it looks like that was possibly uh, Octavius Pepper's first SMW ROM hack. He's only got one submission on SMW Central, you know, joined in April of this year. Um, so I would say if that is indeed his first hack, that's, you know, a lot of potential, really great creator. Um, keep it going, I'd like to see what you come up with next. But he said if it was too easy, maybe check out uh, this one, which is Dancer to a Discordant System. Now this is by an, a creator, an author called Slopcore, who it looks like that is also their only submission on SMW Central so far, and they've been a member for a similar amount of time since, um, since April this year. It does say that it is intermediate difficulty. There's 22 exits. Uh, no cape, thank you. Thank you for the no cape. Yeah, so 22 exits, 100%. Yeah, I think, I think I'll think i give this one a try. I'm just going in uh, completely blind. I don't know anything about this apart from that it was a recommendation. Um, and Octavius left a, left a comment on the submission for this that said it was, and I quote, it's only eight exits in, but absolutely loves the hack. So this was like 10 days ago. Can't wait to play more. Excellent. So there's some spoiler text in one of the comments, something about not being able to find the green switch. So that's something to look out for. Not going to, not going to spoil that. So without further ado, let's give this a try. Okay. Oh. We're jumping right in, okay. Sort of expecting a sort of intro text or something. Okay, so should I just uh, ride this guy? It's kind of hard uh, being off screen um, and not having, like being at the start of the level, the screen doesn't scroll to follow your movement. Um, so, I don't know if this is actually the, <laughs> the smartest way to do it. You know what, I feel like maybe I'll use the slope. We'll see if that's a... Uh, significantly easier. Ah, uh, that fish and boo man. Alright. Is that a... Oh! thought that was uh, setting up for a big P-speed jump. But it looks like we're just um, gonna be getting on to the next fish and boo. Let him come over. Ooh! It's definitely going to be low bounces. I don't want to have to um, deal with the uh, the high fish and booze flame. So we'll, uh, we'll try and set up for a, a low bounce. Hey! It was an intro screen, just uh, with a slight amount of difficulty. Uh, a crimson shadow looms over the horizon drawing closer. Mario decides to take a shortcut home to Yoshi. And here we are, Mario's house. That is, uh, don't believe I can enter that level. Blood Meridian. What do we got? Okay, so we're gonna kick that. What is that? Obviously, uh, not doing this correctly. Um, so I'm not sure what that, uh, what the shell's for here. Is that a, is that one of those sort of drop kicks? I'll give that a try. We'll figure it out. I'm not sure what the, what the Cooper is up to. I feel like that's a bit close for me to jump off. Can I do this from standing? Yeah, okay, I can do that from standing. 
that's good. All right, so so maybe the trick uh, isn't that I'm trying to do like a shell drop or anything. I've got to try and keep both the shells because I feel like I'm going to have to shell jump up here. And then I don't know what's over to the right. Looks like that's going to be, we'll throw a shell. Possibly overthinking this. I'm not sure if the Cooper has a function, so I'm just going to just drop him. Oh, okay. Maybe he does. Maybe I need him to get up to that next section. Sort of bounce off him and then do a shell jump. So maybe we've got to keep everyone. So we'll go fast. So I don't know how I'm going to keep both the shells. Not a good start for me. Okay. All right. <laughs> we have two shells. Uh, I don't know how. All right. So let's try and uh, oh, try and throw that up there. Uh, first shell jump of the day. Oh no! Nope. Let go of the Y button. I have a bit of an issue where I let go of Y. Okay. Okay, that works. Kind of. So we do that and we throw that up. So we've got to save the shell, the first one we get. I'm going to immediately throw that one up and that lands perfectly for me. Okay. Um, maybe... Can I? No, okay. So I can't get up with just that. Oh, hey, a pipe. Should I try a left-facing shell jump? There we go. Whoa, all right. So I can, I can jump on these. What am I meant to do here? I mean, I can't jump. Am I missing something? How do I... Can, I can't pick these up. I can jump off... The, oh! You can go off the left side of the screen. Hey, alright. This looks like it's going to be uh, quite a challenge. So, I was wondering where they were all coming from. Uh, it was the, uh, the same set, just wrapping around. So I'm thinking I'm going to be jumping on the first one to activate that particular block and then bouncing off the second one so I can actually get up there. I've got to say the um, I'm not really familiar with with doing things with screen wrapping. This is, uh, this is a new thing that I have to try and get used to. Oh, you can do it. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. Up we go and... Figuring out the timing for this, this will be fun. Oh, Alright. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Well played. I was not expecting a Kaizo block this early. Or at all. I've got to land kind of on the left side of the second block so we have enough time for two bounces, like that. See if I can lock out on the timing again, yep. Yeah. Gonna jump left. Whoa, whoa! Okay. Either way, that uh, that should have been a spin jump so I could bounce off the thwomp's head. I'm glad that shell jump timing seems to work alright. I didn't go far enough. That's fine. Just uh, getting used to the screen wrapping. I'm glad that shell seems to line up well with what I'm doing. Oh, okay. So I think we're going to go straight away on that one. It's just going to be a little bit of re-grab bounce. So that's full speed. I did a sort of left-right, but it looks like I just go full-on 
there's a springboard there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to jump up or if I need to do a quick spring drop. I'm going to have to wait until the screen scrolls up to figure out what that is. Whoa, okay. All right. So, is that a spin jump? Oh! Now, the question is, is this gonna, is this guy gonna go right when I land on him? Or do I need to do a big boy jump? I'm just gonna do a big boy jump when I get there next. I'm still trying to get a handle on, uh, on how this works. Just getting the, the right speed to land on the left side of that one, yeah. Uh, as demonstrated. That's what I need to be able to do every time, hopefully. Oh, that's a spin. Alright. Hey, we got it. So he does move right, and it is a big boy jump. It's uh, both of those things. Okay, so that secret exit... I mean, it's technically an exit. But didn't really unlock anything. That's fine. It's, uh, let's do the normal route. See if I can remember how to do this setup. Okay. And let's, uh, let's trust the coin. Oh! Thank you, coin. Okay, I don't know how high this jump needs to be. I thought it was going to fall into that bucket. That little cavity down there. It's alright, we get a, get a bit more practice at this one. I wonder if maybe he does fall into that bucket, depending on where you hit him. Okay. Okay, so I think... I'm going to try jumping a bit closer to the edge. Like that. Yeah, that works it out a bit better for my... For what I'm doing. Oh, okay, sometimes he lands there. It's cool that there's a... Oh! Oh! I'm missing a shell. Okay, so we've got to figure out... Where is this shell going to come from? Uh, at least I think I need a shell. I'm not sure what else is going to open up the, uh, the second saw. Yeah, there's... These green indicators, something that appear to, I mean, it looks like the green indicators, so the green coins that function as indicators, they're to do with, with shells. I don't have a shell. Um, uh, actually, you know what? Maybe there's a way to pick up the red shell using the um, swinging platform. Give that a try. Uh, okay, we'll wait till it's is higher. No, okay, so we can't have him fall there. It's not gonna work. Okay, so uh, it's going to be hard. I don't know if he's landing in the wrong spot, because we did see that one time when he landed a bit lower down, uh, which looks like it would be much easier to, to pick him up. So I guess the next thing is trying to figure out what's the timing to get the, the red para Cooper to fall over to the, to the right hand side. Try, um, no. 
tried going a little bit fast. Um, the time previous to that, I just did a, a full height jump. That time it was a bit lower. All right. So that's a a relatively small jump off the uh, first Paracoupa. So, oh, that's uh, not what I intended, and there are blocks on both sides of that pit. Confirmed that. So we're gonna... Oh! <clears throat> of course, that must be a spin jump. You know what, I just realized, maybe there's a much easier way to do this first setup. If I just throw that directly up... I don't know why I was jumping. We, um... I figured out early on that I didn't have to jump. That makes that a lot easier. I knew there was something wrong about what I was doing. Okay, so we've got, if I can make that jump, we're going to do a sort of near the apex of the uh, swinging platform. I'm going to do an up, an up throw, not right here, but a bit later. We're going to do an up throw, switch to spin jump while holding the item. Uh, and then we should be good to bounce on the saws. We're going to throw the shell at the first green coin indicator. Uh, and then it should release the second saw or the third saw. Uh, oh, okay. Hey, we can save it if it happens like that. Somehow my X let go. All right. So we throw that, we can bounce off that. Uh, a spin jump is indicated off those green blocks. So good progress. We are learning things. Feeling very happy with this so far. Once we got over those sort of initial stumbling blocks. Oh, missed it. Okay. Oh. was okay we just we held right for a while but I guess I held jump a bit too long because I overshot that first Cooper that's good it's not going to be a super tight kind of low bounce re-grab situation I've got a little bit of a window to release the jump prior to landing on it Progress. So I was a bit slow on the switch over to uh, spin jump there, uh, and uh, ended up holding the jump button for a bit too long, so I overshot it. Similar to what I did with the coops last time. Maybe that's the problem. It's not not trying to do it faster. It's maybe trying to slow down a bit, so that he's high enough to fall uh, to the right, like that. There we go. That was it. Mm. See if we can nail this. Oh yeah, all right, checkpoint. Nice. Once we got a feel for it, once we knew what to do, and had a little bit of an idea about what was coming up. Oh. Alright. Um... Left. So 
So obviously a shell has to get through here. It's going to kill the Goombas and it's going to do some crazy acrobatics uh, on these ramps. The left thing, that's, that's what's confusing me. And I face left, all right, because I'm holding a shell. I'm going to be facing left to knock it that way. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, what the... I have to have a shell somehow. And maybe stomp the shell. That's the trick. So, so we're going to stop that shell uh, after it hits the turn block. I can do a shell jump. I'm trying to rush. I feel like I'm on a, a bit of a time limit here. So I'm throwing it way too early. Okay, there we go. And we're going to... Uh, no. <laughs> Just trying to throw it up so that I could be on the, on the grate while holding it. Alright, so we throw up. Gonna do that. I was trying to do the swag strat. So I did not release the shell. Hey, there we go. Swag. What's next? What will I die to now? Jumping too far. Um... I feel like I don't want to turn back because I'm going to need speed. So I'll try and jump a little bit earlier. There we go. So this time I'm going to jump a little bit before. Damn, alright. <clears throat> so that's not a full jump. I am going to have to kind of release to fast fall um, to get under that. P speed. We're gonna do a fast ball there. Oh, what is this? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, oh man. Oh, thank you. That. What the. Is that a checkpoint, please? No, nope, that's that's fine. That was a <laughs> that was a really dumb jump. You know, you bailed me out. In the meantime, we can try and get good at this section. Oh, why is it? Oh, okay. Spin jump not required. Yeah. All right. So so that's how that works. Man, that is. Is stressful even the second time. Okay, so what's the go here? Ugh. Ah, ow. Why? Why does this feel so stressful? Uh, I think it's more just the frustration of like doing all these kinds of Kaizo tricks and then suddenly you're just jumping over a pit and failing. Sounds like I need to go back to 101. Okay. This section's pretty good. I don't have... Oh, well, I hope I don't get a bunch of issues in this section. Because it is pretty straightforward. No pun intended there. Okay, so... Oh, man. Okay, so... Jeez. Okay, I, I like the aesthetic here. We're in the volcano. Or well, we saw volcanoes in the background. We're underground. 
Oh, man. All right, well, well, that was level one. That was, uh, I don't know how long I've been at this for. Over half an hour for sure. Uh, this is good. 